Hello. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to code a website today. So, I've already created a CSS library for you to use. It's the same as this one, so if you like these colors, then that's uh, great. Um, if you don't, then you can just, you're free to copy the CSS library, which is here. and you can uh, copy it and change the colors to what you want um, so this is just all the different um, CSS things that you can use in the website and again if you don't like it you can change it so I'll just close out of that alright so first things first we want to um, use the library, so we're going to do style, or actually, we'll just do link relate to style sheet, and we're going to do um, just uh, oh, um, href. Um, Slash slash kahack dot thomas b twelve dot rebel dot co slash style dot css and it will close the link and we can take this out unless you want to copy it but I'll take it out because I'm not going to be using that which means I'm not going to be using this so yes delete that. Alright, and then you want to change the title to something cool, like my awesome web page. And then you can start writing stuff, but first I'm just going to show you some, um, some things that you should definitely have inside, because this is going to help you a lot. Otherwise, you'll have to make a bunch of different files up here, and if you do it this way, it's pretty, pretty easy. Yeah. So, before I go on, I'm just going to do uh, this script, because we need to use this before anything, because this is what powers the next code we're going to do. HTTPS slash slash ajax.googleapis.com slash ajax slash libs slash jquery slash 2.1.4 slash jquery again dot min dot js or I'll put the link in the description for you to copy this in there this is just all the code for that and it, it makes it so you can use jquery inside html and you don't want to put all this code yourself in the web page. That would be insane. <laughs> it would take a long time. But this is all the code, and Google has it for you. So you have it in there. So now we have all this code inside this web page. So now we can use it. We'll do slash script. And then this is going to take a while. So we'll do um, dollar sign, we'll do hashtag nav dot css left negative 630px and then we'll do um, same thing, dollar sign except this time it's hashtag overlay so automatically um, it does this before anything else. Hide. So now it's hidden. So the overlay is hidden. So it doesn't show. And then the nav. Um, we're going to make it like this. Where you can click the button and then it opens up. And then you click outside and it goes out. And then... Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do... 
um, all this, all these CSS properties are inside the um, library, so you don't have to worry about the CSS um, open side dot click function. And we're going to open that, and then we're going to do dollar sign hashtag nav. And then after that's done, we're going to do dollar sign on hashtag overlay and then dot fade in. And then that's the end of that function. And then we're going to do um, dollar sign hashtag overlay again. so far as the other one. And then we're going to do hashtag nav dot animate and we're going to do just left negative uh, 630 and then exit that animate thing Another dollar sign. And then I'm gonna do hashtag overlay and then dot fade out and then that's the end of that for so this is just the overlay and the nav and the open side um, stuff. So when the open side, basically this says open side dot click. So that means when you click on this and you click on this, it looks at and it just um, opens the overlay fade in and it makes the nav go like this opens up like woo, like that and then eyes uh, and then it shows overlay fade in so it's not hidden anymore and then that means if you click on the overlay the nav goes back so this is this dark spot is the overlay the nav goes back in and then the overlay fades out which you can see it fades in and then fades out so that's just what that code does, but we have a little bit more in this script tag. So var page equals document dot get elements by class name. If I'm going too fast, you can just pause it. Um so that just um gets every single um element that has the class name page. So like a div a div. Like right here, if I did div class equals page slash div, then I could just do and then that would um, be a page, and then I can make more pages. And then, um, and then you can also, and then after that, you have to do function. Spell that wrong. Side of this dot style dot display equals none. I'm not even this kind of sloppy, but yeah. Um, window dot scroll zero zero, and then we're going to do a dollar sign and then hashtag nav 
dot animate. Uh, left negative one six hundred thirty, and then after that we're going to exit this animate, and then um dollar sign uh, hashtag overlay dot fade out page page num. Minus one dot style dot display equals lock. And then after that, it's change page one. So that's all the code for that script tag. Um, and then yeah, that's all the tag for that script tag. And then for that script tag, uh, that just changes the page. And then um, it's easy for the page to change within just one HTML script. So basically, it just changes the page. And um, you don't have to have more than one HTML document. So, yeah. Um, another thing you probably want to do is insert fonts. So, like, for in Kahak, I, uh, I insert a font, and I use this font, so... This is the link. You can choose, so as you see, family. You can change that to any font family you want. I have Oswald and Railway. I think they go together really well. But you also have to have material icons, or else this is going to look kind of weird with the menu button. Um, this is a material icon. Um, otherwise, it would just show up as a big menu word, and that's not really that nice and just so what we're going to do is we're going to do link same thing as it same relation style sheet and then you can do ref and then end the link i'm just gonna copy this because i think it goes really well together so we use using hack and there you, there you go, now I just inserted that into the, um, the web page. So, and, and, at the top, I'm going to do, I'm also going to do, um, right here, I'm going to do spam class equals material icons id equals open side so it opens the side and i'm just going to call it menu and then um we're also going to yeah that's just the menu so now if we run it it comes up with this i mean doesn't do anything yet because we haven't added an app but See, that's what it looks like now. And if we go over here, that's what it looks like. And we obviously can change this however we want. We want. So, um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a title. So my um, my library has a title, or not? You don't do a title tag. I don't know why I did that. Um, but you just. I'm just gonna do H1. ID equals title. And I'm just going to do my awesome web page. And then oops, I'm just going to go to that now. And it comes up with this. So, yeah. 
and I'm just gonna delete this because that's um actually no that's a page so I'm gonna put that after oh my gosh I'm gonna put that after because then um the it won't be down one um I'm just gonna put it right here I'm gonna delete hello world too so now I have the title and I can also add a notice too like if you have a, um, like I'm going to do h3 id equals notice, and then, wow, this is on notice, and that comes up with the notice, and as you can see now it's not there, but now we got to actually make the nav, because without nav, I mean, this doesn't do anything. So, I'm going to go ahead and make an av. Alright, so, um, I, I just edited this to, uh, I did div id nav, so I'm going to do, uh, Ref, a ref, and then I'm going to do JavaScript change page. I'll just say one or two because this is the first page, right? So it's showing up on the um because we um set it down here to be change page one automatically. So that's why it shows up here this is page one but then if we um add another page so that's it um class equals page we can just do this one page is awesome you can just customize the text whatever you want good thing about coding and then here we go, we have this, and now we have our nav, which doesn't seem to be working, of the title, we want it to go over the titles, like this, so, I'm going to drag this, and as you can see, um, it changes the page, but we don't have uh, the a tag for the beginning page, so we're just going to do JavaScript change page one. So now we have page one, and then we have page two, and we can do these a tags every page we would like. Um, just you have to make a page for each goes in order so page two even if um this is the one you wanted for page two right here that i'm making it would be this one because it goes in order as we spef specify down here page length i plus plus that's what we made happen there so we have to do it in order um so you could just do three if you want it to be this one um, not in order, but, you know, it is what it is, so, I'll just make another one, and you have to put it in here, JavaScript, change page, whatever the page is, because if you don't put it in there, then no one can get to this page that you made, it's not, it just doesn't, it's not there. As you can see, it does that animation that we specified down here. We can go to page three, we can go to page two, and we can go to page one. So we have our page changing working, but we do not have an overlay. Overlay, and if we try to click, it doesn't work. 
we want to be able to click to get out of it. But it's not showing up. So why is that? It's a really easy fix. All we have to do is just make a div ID overlay. Like that. And we don't have to put anything in it, nothing. If we actually put something in it, it will put words up on the screen, which we don't want. So now we can try this. And we can click out. And there's the overlay. And um, you probably wouldn't think that the overlay, when it's being clicked, would actually matter, but it does, because back down here, um, we said overlay, click, um, the, it goes back in. So that's actually why it matters. Um, yeah, it, it matters, so. Anyways, so, this is a web page, and if you want, you can put a footer, or you can do other stuff. I'm just going to put a footer real quick. Does that? Um, if you want the footer to be at the bottom, you can always just do BR tags, or you can do the margin bottom uh, style tag. So yeah, that's that's our web page.